Good night, viewers. We're coming to you live from the Belize Elementary Auditorium in Belize City for the Mixed Martial Arts event sponsored by Hustle Shotokan. I'm Jose Sanchez, one of your hosts. I'm Ariel Maxuini. So, Ariel, um, have you ever seen one of these fights before? Actually, this is my first time, but I'm very excited to see the fight. And in a few minutes, we're going to see eight show-stopping um, fights, three rounds each, one minute break between each rounds. Um, the premier fight is the one I believe everyone's looking forward to. Okay, um, so this is like the third annual MMA tournament this year, but second one live, right? second one right? live for okay. we're having here. At, and the main event, of course, would be featuring um, one of our very own BDF soldiers. I love them. I'm excited to see him fight. Yes, I see him practice Ramirez, at the gym. The yeah, so the Ram, at the gym. He's, Every. A, he's the commander of the BDF Air Wing and he'll be fighting in the first heavyweight title beat, to, um, belt against Juan Rojas from Chetamal, Mexico. So we're very honored. We feel happy to have our friends from Mexico over here with us at the Belize Elementary. The fights are about to start in a couple minutes and we're actually, the crowd is coming in. There's still time for you to, to come and get your tickets. So for the next hour and a half, if you can't make it out, watch us live on Channel 5. All right, so we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back with our, with our first fight. Welcome back to our main event. Uh, we're coming to you once again live from the Belize Elementary Auditorium in Belize City. I'm Jose Sanchez and Ariel Maxuini. All right, so we're just about to read into our first fight. Um, Hosh Chara Khan is introducing the different judges for the fight. Um, one of the persons that we have is actually a former professional mixed mar martial arts fighter from the US. He's retired. His name is um, Eric Lovelace. And most people are not aware that it's not just the school that is putting on the fight, but it's actually a fight that is sponsored, that is sanctioned by the World Kickboxing League itself. So it's an actual sanctioned event that we're having. And the families are coming out, kids are coming out. So it seems that it's not just a concert happening tonight, but it's actually happening tonight. Yes, so this is very exciting. I think the audience should be in for a good fight. I see the guys practicing every day at the gym. And so, um, it should be very exciting and it's a fun event. Remember to come out to the Belize Elementary Gym and that's where everything is going down tonight. Are you excited? Person? I'm very excited. I'm waiting for that cage to be open and to be locked. So I think that's what's happening right now. We're going to get a little music interlude into the fight. Um, I see some of the BDF soldiers are actually entering. They're walking into the compound itself. So. Is going, it's coming on now. Where our first fighters are actually entering the room itself. So you can, it seems that we have a couple people going inside. They're already hyped up. Put it on. We got the commercials now? Stay heavy, Elias. 
Good. And what you're seeing here is some ground grappling. They're trying to get different holes, different techniques. Again, the winner, you look at submission here and various techniques that they demonstrated. Then they're looking for that one hole, that one hole. They're looking for that one hole to lock him in to get that submission. Keeper, how much time is left in the round? 30 seconds, fight time. 30 more seconds, guys. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Cheer them on, guys. We're working hard for you. demonstration between um, Elias Meyer and Edison Pullman uh, in grappling just a while ago um, Edison three minutes times I've been called well, what exactly are they displaying in the demo? Um, basic grappling we'll skills the um, they were both on top they are both on bottom they are both working pretty hard I'm going to give it to this side over here Run! That even though Elias was in a disadvantage position, she was doing more work trying to get a submission from the bottom. And um, Edison Coleman, who was on top, he was in a disadvantage position. But he wasn't doing much, he was just trying to hold on Elias, and he was in Elias' guard for too long. And what he should have done was try to escape from the guard and get into the side control he accomplished at the end of the match. Okay, so now it sounds like we're getting ready for our first fight. Um, I'm here! Vargas! I'm here Vargas. I'm here How long have you guys been training for this tournament? They've um, basically been training for like two months. Since it's all first. You may know that it'll be happening. Um, I'm here Vargas is from Mexico. And, um, This is his second fight that he, he's experiencing right now, he's going through. And it's a, it's a mind game right now there, you know. All the butterflies are in there, you know. You don't know what your opponent's going to bring because you know he's training as hard as you. You know, you've been training the same way, so 
until you hit the gloves, start hitting each other, moving around, you face each other, you're gonna actually gonna see what your opponent brings to you. So right now they're probably just gonna feel out each other a little bit and they're just gonna slug it out right away. So exactly what type of techniques are the judge looking for? What the judges looking for? The judges are looking mainly for for um oh, that's a nice the domination in the in the in the in the, in the cage. Oh, that just looks so good. So it's awesome. Oh, he's right. down, he's down. All right, no, not quite, not quite. The boat trying to... He's trying to get a GLT tip on him. Ash and Tasha, and... and Vargas rolls out a little. Tasha's trying to get, get on the back, trying to get his guards in. Trying to go for a rear naked choke. That's going to cut off the, all the veins a, a, around the neck. And there he got his hooks in. He has it perfectly and all he needs to do is to, to sink in that, 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 that forearm below the chin. Escape, right? Yes, it's, it's pretty much a done deal. But Tasher seems like he doesn't have that arm in. He doesn't have that arm under below the neck. He needs to get that, that arm right below the neck, looks cutting like that neck. Oh, Vargas there he is escaped. Vargas right. escapes. Oh, yeah. Vargas is on the domination thing. He's out. There, Vargas bring it back to him. Bring him back to fight in the game. Vargas. Shining is being impressive in this match for his first match. Now Tasha needs to get on. Tasha made a mistake giving him his back. Tasha back on his feet. Dominic trying to get a GOP show. What Tasha needs to do is to try to calm down and try to get on the back of Vargas. Then he's coming out. That's what he doing. He's going for a GOP show. He's almost having it, but at that position, I don't think he's going to get it. He needs to, to be in a more dominating position than that. So, at that position, he needs to change his move. He's in side control. He should have gone into that half guard position because he, he's losing control. Because Vargas can now control his leg, control his power. What Vargas wants to do is get him in a full position. There goes a long, very impressive first one. What do you guys think? Sounds very impressive first round indeed. I'm curious to see what happens. It's only a one minute break for the next round. Yeah, so yeah. So it is it is very impressive indeed. I wonder what the coaches are saying to them right now. But It's very noisy in here. I think the crowd is very excited. The crowd is actually on his feet for most of that though. Definitely they have. You know what, Bar what Vargas needs to do is try to be more, more aggressive than he you know, he's, he's, he, was on, he was at the, the bottom, on the top of the little boy. He should have stayed there on, the, on, on top of him, on the monk position. I continue bringing down the, the punches onto, onto oh, Belize and Fighter and oh, on Tasher. Oh, and, but Tasher has him pretty busted up right now, as you can see, his eyes is a little bit swollen up. Yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. So Tasher hurry, is bringing hurry, hurry, hurry. on to him. Hurry, hurry. So, so hurry. Too late. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I think Tasha, um, Vargas does Four, have a future. The sport he keeps with this is ready for this. Oh. Superman punch. There he goes for a takedown. That, that's a point for Vargas. You can go. judge. Oh, there's going to knock down some wild hooks. Some more hooks to the head. Some hooks. Oh, there. Vargas looks a little bit dizzy. He doesn't protect his feet. That's on the map. That's another takedown. There you see Ashton Tasher back on the back. He's going for an arm bar. There he goes. He needs, to, he needs to reverse the, the arms up. Um, Vargas has reversed the, the, the arm bar. Oh man, this is... Well, I think they're pounding there on the ground with the Tasha. Is he going to tap out? It's possible. It's possible. Oh, possible he's going to tap out. Ref's just not going to stop it, it looks like. He's continuing on. There goes some more ground and pound action for you guys. Tasha, clearly at advantage, being on to his opponent. And uh, Vargas tries to defend a little bit by cutting him in his guard. You know that he controls the, he controls the punching of, of Ashton Tasha right now. It's definitely. So Tasha is trying to break, trying to break that, 
guard. And once he breaks that guard, he can pretty much do whatever damage more he can do. But right now, as long as he's in guard as his guard, so what is what do you think about the judges? What are they looking for? Like? The they're looking for the fighter If he's on the ground, basically what they're looking on is the two on top oh, wow, of okay. the pants. Tasher's Tasher's going off there. Yeah, but that's Tasher. Yeah. But are those punches connected? Most of them still have. Oh, there goes it. That's the he calls the fight. Tasher wins the battle. Tasher with the yeah, 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 okay. Warriors don't seem to have a bit beaten up. Yeah, definitely a bit and disappointed. He didn't want the fight stopped. He stopped the fight. He didn't want the fight stopped. He, like I said, he really wanted to put on his first performance, to be his best performance for our artists in the league. He was okay to stop, but if you look at his face, he was, yeah, he's busted up. So. Jason came in with a stoppage because Vargas from our perspective wasn't defending. Really this was the first time he was on the feet. Vargas wasn't really blocking the shot. So I thought maybe he would have done better on the match itself. Yeah. But he didn't want to fight stop, but clearly he really was well, disappointed. Well, 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 our strength is in our fighting. We got Mike Tyson thing going on. But basically, he wasn't blocking. He wasn't. He didn't keep up his arms to block punches. He took some solid hooks from Tasha while they were standing. That took him down to the ground. And then there on the ground, he didn't do much. He, he had to. He had to try to do a sweeper to be in the advantage of Tasha to try to get Tasha to stop hitting on him but he just kept his life and you know, didn't defend himself or anything and that's just our first fight of the night um, the 8 fights total so the television broadcast will go up to 8.30 that's when the station is on to make a at the additional fights continues in the overtime and the ground so there's still time for you to come out and join us, right Arya? Refreshments. We have, have T-shirts selling also for them. So come on, guys. Yeah. So I think it's gonna be okay. I think even though he's hurt, it's his ego that's probably going to feel the, the, the pain more. But I think. It's about the sport they were fighting but they've always got help that camaraderie that friendship because that's what it's all about it's about discipline can you explain to us some of the disciplines with um, MRA? Um, there's the basic karate discipline there's taekwondo there's boxing there's wrestling there's jiu jitsu there's so many mar different martial art disciplines that, that, well, that dominate Actually, the next fight is coming up. Frank Vasquez. I'm looking forward to seeing Frank Vasquez. So, let me see if we can get a quick word, Mr. Vasquez. Frank, what are you going to say to the fans out there? What are they going to expect when they see you out there? Well, guys, I'm just going in. You know, you can underestimate your opponent, so just look out for Somebody tell me you have that 19 year old Mike Tyson strength going on to get in there. You're just gonna go wild. Uh, to be honest, that's what I'm here to do tonight to keep that up, you know, maybe even break my record. I'm pretty sure you're gonna have the crowd standing um, on its feet. Thank you much, Frank. We're getting ready. The, the last time we had a live Frank came Frank. Out. We, we lost several fights Frank. in a row. And then first came And he just went like that young Mike Tyson. Okay, I just got an update on that fight from one of the guys from Prevail. They said that the coach got the next one, stopped the fight. And it wasn't when he came in and stopped it, it was the actual coach who came in and stopped the fight. The first guy, you know, that's the thing. You know, it's so much love that we have for the people, you know, you train with them, you see, you see them at a disadvantage, you have to look out for them, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There he goes with the front kick. The both fighters edging it out each other, just studying each other carefully. What Frank needs to do is cut off the, 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 the wrong walking about. That's what Frank needs to do. Oh, there goes a job on the street. Frank is still composed. He goes with a, there's an auto cut. Another auto cut. A hook, an auto cut. That's Frank's strength right there. Yeah. When Frank gets in it, it's that power, that intensity that he brings with him yeah. from his school. What's 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 the rest of There is stuttering, sort of Frank, or rather, I can't even do that. But that's what yeah. Frank brings. I mean, he's, he sounds my man, but once he's in the ring, he really he's a beast. Yeah. He's a definitely a beast there, Jose. Talent and skill. They're, they are pretty much locked up in the cage. They have their button for a position. Frank giving him some hits there. Some, some oh no, Paris is putting in some hurt also on, on, on Frank. But basically they're just trying to fight for a per, per position. What Frank needs to do is try to move away from Frank the front. That's it he does. Works better in the mid there you go, you see. Yes. There you go, Paris trying to light him up. Frank stops. Why, why they're trying to get him done because once he can get down into uh, some sort of grip that's where, where he would he might lose the fight but if he can keep in the middle of the ring he can keep punching yeah. so he's going to have to I think he has dominated that one yeah he pretty much dictated the pace of that one you know and the guy realized that he had to this play so he's going to bow to us at something. So he gets done, he wants to get the job done. First round! We had a glimpse in the first round! Oh, that's a nice one. Please hold your mirror! Which martial artist here is for you? Thank you again to have a house! Thank you again to have a house! Don't get back in there. 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 Don't get